I'm Lauren Whitehurst. I'm a certified personal trainer and certified nutrition coach. Hi, I'm Sunny Livencott. I'm a certified professional life coach and a certified brain health professional. We also have Angela Salyers, who is a licensed professional counselor, and the three of us together make up Whole, whole Life Vitality. Vitality. We teach Whole Life Vitality of the mind, body, and soul, bringing the physical, emotional, and spiritual together for whole life wellness. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Today, we are here to talk about gratitude. Mm. That's a good one. It's my favorite. Mm. It's my favorite. Ask me why. Why? Why, Sunny? Why is it your favorite? Because it is literally, and I use literally the correct way, right. not the way that we typically use it, but <laughs> literally Actually, very directly related yeah, to what changed my life. Yeah. People as as a life coach and someone that works with so many people with anxieties mm-hmm. and as someone who worked through anxiety disorder theirself, gratitude is it's what did it for me. It's what changed everything for me. And people are always waiting for that thing. Yeah. You know, when they ask, or what can I do? The magic pill. Yeah, what can I do? The quick fix. And when I tell instant them instant relief. They get so disappointed. <laughs> what you know? So I will disappointed. Say, when you say gratitude, there's something that comes to mind that doesn't really match up with this is gonna change my life. Yeah. It's, it's like, okay, sure, yeah, I'm grateful for yeah. you. Uh, sure. Are you sure I can't just take a drink? Right. Like, <laughs> right. Is is there like a cleanse for that? Like, can, I just, be, can I just do something it's else? It's got to be something. Yeah. Well, we want to do things. Mm-hmm. We, we want to do things. Um, we think that that will help. Ironically, though, we don't enjoy doing mental work. Well, because it doesn't actually seem like you're making any progress. It's not visible progress. You can't see it. Right. Yeah. You can see flab on your body. <laughs> That's true. You can see physical flab. Yep. You, you can know, see you... muscle growth. Yeah. You can see things change in a positive way. You can yeah. see a room get cleaner. Absolutely. Uh, but you can't see mental flab. Interesting. Interesting. And so... You can wash your face. Mm-hmm. Cleanse it. But washing your brain... Yeah. What's that? Seems less fulfilling. Yeah. In and, some way. And Weird. out of sight, out of mind. Weird. <laughs> there you go. All right. Gratitude, though. Gratitude. It, uh, it changed everything. And honestly, I, I heard a concept that shocked me. And I looked it up because I thought, this person has no idea what they're talking about. Because you probably thought the same thing everyone else thought yes. when you heard. Yes. Just to gratitude. Yeah. I was in a study um, and... Like a devotional study? Yeah, like a, like a book study, devotional study. Okay. And one of the women said, do you know that you cannot have a grateful thought and an anxious thought simultaneously? Mm, you can't have the lights on and the lights off at the same at time? At the same time. Weird. One will always overtake the other. Okay. And that one... It, it was one of those moments. We've all had those moments where where we are in life, mm-hmm. something is said or something is read or something is heard. Yep. And pivotal moment. It just, it hits you. Mm-hmm. And if they had said it five years ago, what, it'd Maybe be in a different five place. minutes ago. But in that moment, mm-hmm. with everything that you've gone through, you're sitting there and it just hits you. And it's like the light stays yep. on instead of flickering off. And you're like, wow. And I had to go research that because I thought, well, I know this person is it not a doctor. It can't be that easy. can't be that easy. It turns out 100% correct. And that's, that really, that was my like aha moment to, there's something for this. There's something with this. So like, what does that mean? Matter. Gratitude. Like, sure. Like, I'm, I'm grateful for you. Yeah. I'm grateful that I woke up this morning. Now, now, I, now I feel better. Yeah. Well, are you? And that's, that's the difference with gratitude. It's a state of being. Okay. It's not just saying, you know, at, at Thanksgiving, Thanks. going around the table and like everyone say what they're grateful for. Right. I'm grateful for my sister. I'm great. 
Are you? I'm grateful for everyone talking really quickly so we can get to the food. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're just saying it to eat dinner. Uh, gratitude is actually looking around, taking a moment, and what are you truly, truly grateful for? What do you feel in your gut? What are you what feel? Do you feel? Yes. feel so deeply that it what, speaks to you? What hit you mm-hmm. when you think about gratitude? What are you grateful for? And sometimes people think they make it so hard that it has to be these earth shattery, yeah. mountain moving, you know, things that they're grateful for. But, you know, it, it sounds silly, but my quiet time in the morning where I'm sitting in my chair and I have this cup of coffee in my hands that are, it's warming my hands. Is this part of your morning routine? It is part of my morning what? routine. Yeah, I know. I know. And that, that aroma and that steam kind of mm. comes up. And it, it's so incredible. I feel at peace just thinking yes, about it. Because it doesn't matter what happened the day before or the night before. In that moment, I feel calm. Yeah. And I am so grateful for that. Like in that moment, I am so grateful yeah. uh, for, and then that leads me, well, why do I feel calm? Because I'm in a home. Like mm-hmm. I'm sitting there in a home, in a chair. Climate controlled. Yes. <laughs> and I live in South Alabama, like the southernmost point of Alabama. I don't know how, like. It's hot. How much you know about geography. It is so hot and humid here. Mm-hmm. Like you could cut it with a knife. Okay. Kind of swim in it when you oh, walk out the door. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, if you have pretty hair here, you have pretty hair everywhere. True. Okay. True. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I am comfortable and I'm thankful. And then that leads me to that. Well, you know who else makes me comfortable? The people that are in that home, mm-hmm. that inhabit that home with me. I'm so grateful for them. Yeah. And it's just that leads you. It's really hard to be mad at your kids when you're yeah. thinking about all the reasons why you're grateful yes. for them. Maybe, you know, my son, he's, oh, he is a lover. Uh, he's 12. And when he wakes up every morning, he comes and he doesn't even speak. He just mm-hmm. hugs me. Oh, he that. just grabs me and he hugs me. And it's it's not like this quick. It mm-hmm. is a hug. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it, I could just tear up thinking about mm-hmm. it. I am grateful for that. Yeah. Like, I am grateful for that. So, so it much is. So serotonin. Yes. <laughs> That's what it does. <laughs> that is truly what it does. Um, gratitude. Uh, dopamine. Yeah. It is. It releases dopamine, which is the feel good yep. transmitter of the brain. Yep. Truly, when you are doing that, when you are not just listing it off to get it done, but when you are taking time and sometimes, and, and that, that woman that was speaking said, I was in a place that I couldn't find things to be grateful for. Yeah. So as I was on the floor, literally, I just said, I'm grateful right now that I have air in my lungs. Yep. And she said, I'm grateful that when I'm ready, I can stand up off of this floor. Yep. That's serious. You just think about what's true. Think about what's true in your life. Yes. And then think about those truths being taken away. So I can walk. I can stand. I can speak. And if I couldn't do any one of those things, how would I feel? Exactly. And when you think about the opposite side of it, immediately you start realizing, oh my goodness, that would be so hard. I am so grateful yeah. that I can walk. Yeah. It's it's a game changer. Yeah. It is a game changer. It is like the compass that brings you back to what's important, mm-hmm. what's real. And anxiety is always throwing you in the future and in the past. And gratitude brings you back to the present. Because you got to feel it. You got to feel it. Right then. Uh it also, gratitude, it reduces the production of cortisol. Cortisol is the stress. The stress hormone. The stress hormone. That also encourages your body to put on weight. Yes. And retain weight. And yes. And causes inflammation. Anxiety. Mm-hmm. It's so simultaneously while you're speaking it, you are boosting dopamine, which makes you feel good. And you are blocking the production of cortisol. Yes. That's when when I'm like, listen, no, it sounds simple, but what it's doing scientifically, it's not simple at all. It's huge. I'm doing my happy dance over here. Like this is what I'm so excited. It's amazing. It's amazing. So as I'm working with people, I'm like, this changed my life Mm -hmm. because I was 
living an anxiety disorder. And that's where I started. I started with gratitude. And it was something that at first, man, I was doing it all day because I was feeling anxious that's all how day. Often you need all it. day. Mm-hmm. Um, and so with my clients, I, you know, gratitude is a must. Yep. I'm like, we're all going to be in the gratitude boat. Okay, all of us. But I will tell you, it's been incredible and such a blessing as a coach to listen because my clients will come back and say, hey, I started a gratitude jar. Someone walked into my home and said, what's that? And I'm like, well, that's what I put my gratitude in. You know, every everything I'm grateful for, me and my children, Can we throw it in the jar. Can you feel the positivity radiating off of the jar? And then <laughs> they find out, they go home and they start a gratitude jar. Oh, I love that. I've had clients that, you know, teach kids, work with kids. And they taught them about gratitude. And then the kids start speaking gratitude and they start their own gratitude list. Like That's amazing. gratitude is a ripple. It's a yep. ripple effect. And that is everything. Yep. everything. When the tide comes in, all ships rise. Yes. You can't just have it affect you. Yes. One of the things that I tell my clients is your body and your mind, they have to be in harmony they have for you to live physically healthy as well. Yeah. And so you, when you feel it and you think it, those things come together and you can live in harmony and that does allow you to also reach your physical goals. Yeah. It truly, gratitude is what helps bring happiness within your reach Mm -hmm. because if you are not grateful for what you have, you will never have enough Mm. ever. So Uh, true. And it's always going to feel out of reach. You'll always be on the happiness deferred payment like plan where when I get here, I'll be happy. When I get this, I'll be fine. When I do this, this, you know, the next step, it's always out of reach. Yep. Gratitude brings you back. When I lose the 10 pounds, when I, when I reach this goal, when I make more money. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Actually, no, that doesn't happen that way. It doesn't because you hit those goals and you don't feel better. And you don't feel you better. You get instantly, you think in the same thought, I did it and I'm still sad. I'm still sad. So maybe there's something else. Maybe I'll set another goal. I did it. Oh, I'm still sad. Because if you aren't, if you don't like yourself, yeah. if you're not grateful for who you are and where you are and the people around you and the way you've put your life together, then You'll never be happy anywhere. Never. It's, I'm gonna it. I'm gonna say it again. That's it. You can be happy and mad in the same pants. <laughs> Our '90s parents said that. You can. <laughs> they said it all the time. Uh, but it's so true. Yeah. It is so so true, and it's it's a game changer. So, for myself, I still gratitude. I do gratitude every day. Me, and my yeah. husband, um, we have we send ten things to one another I that we're that. grateful for every day and sharing um, it. Sharing it, I love that. sharing it with a loved one. You can, mm-hmm. a friend, a, um, anybody that you're close to that you trust say, Hey, can you, will you be willing to be my accountability, my gratitude accountability partner? Uh, if you want to change your life, mm-hmm. incorporate gratitude, Absolutely. uh, incorporate it into your morning, start your day, start your day, beat your day before your day beats you. That's right. Okay. So incorporate gratitude. If you want a game changer, you want to reduce your stress, reduce your anxiety levels, uh, lower feel your better, lower inflama- inflammation, yep. you know, all of that boost your happiness, mm-hmm. gratitude, yep. gratitude, and not just saying it to check it off a list to say that you've done it, but actually feel the gratitude. Yep. What are you actually grateful for? Mm. And if you want to up-level that, check out our podcast on the morning routine, yes. how to incorporate gratitude in your morning routine and the ways that that will, again, help you up-level. Absolutely. If you're looking for other ways that you can jumpstart your success, head over to wholelifevitality.com and check out our 30-day mindset reset, which is a 30-day mindset bingo because- So fun. It's just more fun. It's so fun. But you get 30 days of prompts mm-hmm. that truly reset- you know, you're thinking how you feel. Like they're so fun. You can do them by yourself. You can do them with a friend. You can do them with your kids. Yep. They're easy prompts. They won't take much of your day at all. And and the benefits. They'll make a huge difference. Huge difference. Find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, on YouTube, and tune in for what's next. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.